You know, it seems like we tell you about these at least once a week, ATM thefts. After a recent attempt, the executive director of the National ATM Council says there needs to be changes aimed at reducing the amount of attempted thefts. WMR2 News' Kendall Green joins us now in the studio. Kendall, so what types of things are they proposing? Well, Kelly, I'm told the organization is approaching uh, this two ways. The first, implementing technology into ATMs that create more deterrence for criminals. And the second, getting legislation passed that hold them accountable on the federal level. This is not just any old property. This is the lifeblood of cash access for many neighborhoods all over the country. That access to cash slowly evolving into an access point for criminals as attempted ATM thefts skyrocket nationwide. Bruce Renard, the executive director of the National ATM Council, says there's a host of different technologies coming into play to get ahead of the trend. There are many terminals now out there that will have GPS tracking with them and, uh, you know, it will enable law enforcement to do a better job of tracking where these go. As well as some other safeguards being put into place. Things like exploding die packs so that when the criminals, you know, do this and try to take the cash, it will set off an explos explosive uh, ink, you know, indelible ink package that will stain the cash and make it so that it's not going to be accepted generally. Uh, in commerce. But he says the approach they're expecting to get the most results from is beefing up a federal presence of law enforcement agencies to combat the crimes. It's really important to bring in the federal authorities uh, with federal crimes that have mandatory prison sentences and stiffer penalties. As well as laws. Getting a national law in place that would make, you know, it clear that crimes against any ATM constitutes bank robbery. That would go a long way toward improving the situation because the federal authorities really can bring uh, significant resources to bear on this type of crime. While no current legislation has been introduced so far, Renard says some of the technology to track and prevent ATM thefts is already in use. And so it really is, uh, you know, a Russian roulette for the criminal. They're not going to know which, which location is going to have this and which will not. The Baltimore City employee, after one of the more recent attempts, is facing local charges that include three for burglary, one for theft, and one for uh, charge in destruction of property. Now, with all of those charges combined, if convicted, Kirk Parker Jr. could face nearly 30 years in prison. All right, thank you.